uh, crypto investment products have experienced another week of inflows, uh, bringing the run to 10 consecutive weeks, according to CoinShare's latest report on digital asset investment funds. Uh, inflows into crypto and products totaled 176 million last week, uh, bringing the total inflow in 10 weeks to uh, $1.76 billion. Uh, the timing is not a coincidence, as most cryptocurrencies turned green again last week in terms of price action. After a lackluster action for most of the year and some weeks of net outflows, the most recent data shows smart money. Investors are betting big on crypto again. Investments in digital asset funds have been on the rise for the past two months, ignited by the crypto market bull run, which started in the middle of October. As a result, the inflows have ballooned every week. Breaking levels not seen since 2021's crypto market bull run. Uh, digital asset investment funds ended November with an inflow of $176 million, although down from the $346 million you're registered in the week before. Most of the money last week went into Bitcoin with the cryptocurrency seeing uh, $133 million in inflows. Uh, Bitcoin remains the most popular digital asset for institutions, and interest is really peaked with the applications of spot Bitcoin ETFs in the U.S. waiting for approval from regulators. As a result, the crypto has strengthened since October, breaking various price levels and resistances, the latest being the $42,000 price level. The sentiment has also flowed into the altcoin market. Ethereum saw inflows of $31 million last week, bringing its five-week inflow run to a total of $134 million. Multi-asset investment products that provide exposure to a basket of crypto assets saw $2.3 million in new investment. Asset Solana and XRP saw inflows of $4.3 million, respectively. On the other hand, Litecoin saw outflows of $0.2 million. In short, Bitcoin products saw $3.6 million for inflows after three consecutive weeks of outflows. Um, most of the inflows came in from Canada, Germany, and the U.S., which saw inflows of 79 million, 57 million, and 54 million, respectively. Um, Australia and Sweden also saw um, outflows of 0.5 million bucks and 0.2 million, respectively. Uh, however, the overall trend shows uh, institutions are still bullish uh, on crypto in, in, in the long run. And it's exciting to see such numbers again as they are reminiscent of past bullish sentiment in the crypto industry. According to CoinShares, this run of inflows is now the largest since October 2021, which saw the launch of the futures-based ETF in the U.S. Um, assets under management have also risen by 107% this year and are now at $46.2 billion, but still below the $86.6 billion seen in 2021. However, this record is ready to be overtaken in the coming year as the latest data provides further evidence that institutional interest in the crypto market will continue for a while.